I am Matthew Morse at the Capitol for the 2013 Children's Week. Today there are many exciting booths from sponsors uh, for this event from around Florida. Those voices need to be heard in the halls of this Capitol, in the halls of City Hall, in the City Council, in this County Commission, in the School District. Every voice needs to be heard and you are their voices now. Because life is a test. We're choosing wrong is always easier than doing right, where there are four wrong answers and only one right one. Activism creates leaders and hands them the authority they need to build a better tomorrow. So we are creating a series of aggressive programs to attack this, and the good news is, is the Calvary is on its way. And every community in the state is looking at uh, dealing with this issue. We would challenge all of you in your local schools and in your local communities to get involved, continue to talk about it like we're talking about some of these other topics. We couldn't be more proud to be part of an event that, that uh, supports Florida's children, uh, the importance, and we've got to support the future, and we're named a sponsor here. And it's our commitment and our continuing commitment through the 50 years of our, uh, our organization's history that we're all about the kids. So we're very proud to be a named sponsor here at the Children's Week. Positive experiences plus positive relationships plus positive environments equals positive youth development. So my question to you all is, what exactly are you doing in your cabinet to provide equal opportunities for all youth despite their socioeconomic background? One of the things this cabinet is doing is that these agencies are working together now. We have actually signed um, documents that say that we must communicate with each other about challenges that individuals have. The best part of this week for those who fight child abuse and family problems is the conversation goes even further than child abuse prevention. It goes to promoting improved quality of life for children. That is when we truly win, by looking to improve the quality of life for all children and families in our community. I think this is great for to honor the children like this because I didn't have anything like this when I was growing up and I just think this is a great way to like promote the children and what they're doing in their schools. Our future is in good hands. We just have to encourage them. We spend all the time and attention on the least talented 2% and forget about the other people. The other kids who we have to pass the baton off to. Everybody says the children are our future, but I tell you, verbalism without activism is idle chatter. Let's go forth today and talk to our legislators, talk with them about the challenges that we're facing as children and families across the state, and talk to them about the solution of how we can get that raw material, those children entering our public school system, to be the kind of material that are going to end up in that product that we need at the end of the line, who are going to be contributing to our society and contributing to our well-being and our economy. Go forth and multiply, and here's for children. Thank you.